The little breaking news on social media yesterday, trying to showcase that she as well can anchor the show. Let's watch her race for a few more years. we got another great battle here. LaClo in five with seven wins. Caleb Dressel, who we told you he averages 73 and a half points per match. He is in three. Or can Tom Shields win back-to-back -back events for L.A.? He's down in lane number one. <laughs> as good as the women were, this might be better. Four of the five fastest swimmers in history are in this event, top five of the season, and there are those three, and the battle certainly should come with these three amazing legends here in the Hunter Butterfly. They're all very similar in the way they attack the race. At least they have been this season. 23 flat is just about where their sweet spot is. Dressel 23-2 when he went 48-9, but he's going to go a lot faster than that. Chad LeClaw, the fastest in history. Caleb Dressel out quick. Tom Shields in the picture as well, and this is what he expected, folks. Shields, Dressel, LeClaw only two tenths away. Wow. Well, <laughs> forget about the splits. They went from 23 flat to 22-3 and 22-4 going out. Could we see a world record? They're ahead of world record pace. Dressel coming home. He's trying to get the first win. 48.08 is the world record. Oh he my did it. goodness! The first ever under 48 seconds. Dressel oh. again. A world record. Oh my goodness. Is this what we're going to see all weekend, buddy? <laughs> oh my gosh. He was 22-4 at the 50. I think many swimmers in the world would take that for a flat start 50 freestyle time. He, you know, the great thing about him is he just grabs that anchor out front and he just catapults by. Look at the end of that stroke. 22-4 and then he comes back in 25-3. I, I, it may not mean a lot to a lot of people, boy. Good gravy. Caleb Dressel with a world record performance is unbeatable.